Hello and welcome back. So now from this video onwards, we will start working on our garage scene, okay? Or you can say the car selection menu. So for that, first of all, you will need to copy this player car spawn area. So just copy it. You can copy it like this, or you can just simply press the Control and C button, and then click on this garage scene. Right here, we have this environment. Okay, we have added this environment in our previous video, so go ahead and watch that. And now right here, we will put all of our cars. So now, we have copied the player car spawn area. Let's paste it now. Okay, there it is. Let's move it right here. Okay, let's actually activate all of the three cards okay there it is there are the cards let's select that drag and drop them right here okay here is the cards let me actually move the other two and now let's set the first one up okay here it is Let's move him a little bit back there and then a little bit to this side. Okay, it looks good. Now let's see the other two. Okay, there it is. It looks good as well. Let's select the third one. Here it is. Okay. So now we have the cars set up. We have the environment and the camera right here. Let's actually move this camera. Where is it? Right there. Okay, let's rotate this camera towards this point. And then a little bit to this side. And then to that side okay it looks good like this let's actually move it a little bit up that's it don't worry we will add the animated camera as well but that is for the future okay Okay, so now you will be thinking how will the car selection works, okay? So as you can see, we have this player car spawn area and in here all of the car will be deactivated and then by using a script, inside that script, we will type a code and at a time, we will activate one car like this, okay? And when the car finishes up, we will show the back button and then from the backward, it will select the previous cars. So now, as you know, we first of all need the buttons, okay, the selection buttons. So we will be adding the selection buttons. For that, let's create a UI canvas by the name of selection canvas and then let's go ahead to click on ui then create a ui button let's name this button as next in here just simply delete the text we just need the next button okay right here let's go inside the sprites and as you can see we have the next button right here so just simply drag and drop that in there now if you check it out, here is our button. Let's click on set native size. Okay, let's see it in the maximize screen. Okay, here is the button. We need to move this button to this side. So let's click on maximize. Click on the next button. Change the transform of it to the middle left like that. Okay, let's click on maximize. Here is the button. We need to move it a little bit to this side. 
so in the scene view let's go inside 2d focus up on this button and move it right here that's it it looks good now let's add the previous button so for that we will just simply duplicate this and let's name this as previous in here let's drag and drop that and then let's set the transform of it to middle and then middle left that's it let's go ahead right here let's move it to this side actually Let's move it to the center like that. Okay. As you can see, we have the both buttons set up. Okay, here is the next previous, next previous. So we have the button set up. We have the player spawn area. And now in the next video we will type a code for this so whenever we press on this button then we will show the cards accordingly okay one by one so catch you guys in the next one